Hey everyone, something new today. So what you see right here is a Husqvarna 455 Rancher. And yes, that is a 16 inch bar. Now if you go on Arborist site and any other forums, they'll tell you that you can't put a 16 inch bar on a 455 Rancher. But I'm here to tell you that you can. And I just got done cutting some limbs with this saw and it went through it like lightning because a 55 is grossly overpowered for a 16 inch chain. So it just absolutely rips. So the secret is quite simple. Let me grab a screwdriver here. I'm gonna back this off a little bit. Now, the chainsaw itself, I've made no modifications to whatsoever. Chainsaw, totally, totally stock. I'll take this guy, pop it off, and I'll zoom in here and show you what I did, is I drilled a hole in front of the factory hole there and see, I took my Dremel and uh, ground it upwards a little bit because the stud that's inside this cover right there sits a little bit higher than what would on a smaller Husqvarna chainsaw. So I drilled a hole, then I made some adjustments using a carbide bit, just went up a little bit like that so it fits in perfectly. So then once you put this thing on there and you tighten it down, you can now run a big saw with a very little blade now, why did I do this? Well, I got this and the chain for like 20 bucks. And this chainsaw here, I actually only have $50 tied up in. So my dad, this is my dad's uh, 455 Rancher, or it was, and what happened was he was cutting a tree, it was rotten, flipped out from underneath him, and well, crushed all the, crushed the saw to bits. But the engine block and the crankcase survived, so I found a parts saw that I cannibalized with all the good body parts and switched everything out for, you know, for 50 bucks, and I've got a working saw with low miles. And sometimes I climb trees for, you know, my job, and I have another Husqvarna here with a big 24-inch. And I've got a 288 over there with a 36-inch. So I've, cl I've climbed with this saw before, and it's just awful. But this I got so cheap, I wanted to put it to use, but I can. it's a little heavier than a, you know, commercial-grade climbing saw. But this only set me back, you know, $75. And uh, now I can do some limbing, and it'll just absolutely rip through limbs about as well as a commercial grade saw, but at, you know, one tenth of the price. But again, if you want to fit one of these dinky little blades onto a bigger Husky, just drill a hole right there in front of the original one and go up a little bit with it with a carbide tip on like a Dremel, and it'll work. Um, the chain is just regular Husqvarna chain. It's 3 8 pitch, which is the most common size in terms of distance from the rivets. So even though it's a little bit narrower gauge, it actually still lines up with the clutch perfectly because the pitch is the same as the fatter blades. Like I said, this cuts perfectly. It goes insanely fast just because it's grossly overpowered for this size blade. 